if this were in your playing days, what would you be bringing into the bubble? It basically, what can I live without, right? I, I can't live without it. Right. You know what would have been hard for me is when I was playing, I always traveled with a rose. You know, most of my teammates didn't know this, but I had to always have like a, a rose on hand and I would went through the process of um, looking at the heart of the rose and looking deep inside it. And um, when I first started doing it, I wanted to see how long I could hold a thought without something coming in and, and scattering my brain. And, and it was good because in the beginning, I could only go about 20 seconds without something else coming into my mind that was taking me away from my focus, which was the rose. And uh, by the end of it, I had to start a timer. I mean, I had to put on a 20 minute timer because I'd lose myself in it and it helped me have like a clear mind space for the game. The, the difficult part about this uh, ritual um, superstition was that I had to always find a rose. So no matter where I went, I was always, you know, my wife would be taking me to the airport. <laughs> and we gotta find a rose, you know, it was, it was not always easy. And then you're on the road for a long enough time and your rose looks beat up and it's dying. So, oddly enough, it would be a rose. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's awesome. And and that kind of ties into the overarching motif in hockey of goalies being weird. So <laughs> Now, ordinarily, when you're going to look for roses, your wife would probably think of the first time, oh, that's so sweet, he's getting me roses. <laughs> She'd get uh, 11 out of the dozen, and I'd have to take one with me. <laughs> well, all right. That's really interesting. I've, I've never heard that before as a focus technique. And I know that Jimmy, yeah. Jimmy Howard has his eye tricks. Braden Holtby is incredibly uh, idiosyncratic and ritualistic when it goes to the, the mental aspect of the game. Uh, but that's a new one. I've never heard that one. If anybody tries it, I mean, you look inside it and you'll realize that you've never really looked at a rose. It's very dark when you look into it. It's meditative. It helps. It helps. Whatever it takes, you know, you have to be able to get your mind into a very quiet, serene place to have optimal performance. And like I said, I read books about it all the time still because I need to go there even for my TV job. I can't go in there with a lot of noise uh, between my ears. I've got to focus and take a deep breath and stay calm and a lot of the same principles you have as a hockey player.